someone on a flute forum recently asked the question, do you need a master's degree to play in orchestras professionally um, as your career? And there were all kinds of really interesting comments uh, coming out from that question. And it's a really great question. My immediate thought was, yes, you need a master's degree, but you don't need need it. Um, it just depends. And this person asking the question is clearly on the path towards music as a full-time career. She has a bachelor's in flute performance and wants to play orchestra. I think she probably had in mind like full-time orchestra, but even if not that, like a, the highest level regional orchestra, so to be a professional freelancer. Either one of those situations, the master's degree is a, is a good thing. And like I said, it depends. The reasons that it would be good is that the master's degree is really part of your training as an orchestral player you have to have absolute mastery and control of your instrument um, to play orchestral music at the highest level and to even be competitive at all um, at auditions. When I think back of what my playing level was at after I had finished my bachelor's degree, um, I mean, I was in no way prepared um, to be competitive at all at, uh, at auditions. I mean, I thought I was <laughs> at the time, but um, I went on to get a master's degree and I'm so glad I did um, because I was immediately around much better players that I had ever seen before from my bachelor's degree. When I did my bachelor's degree, it was an okay music school, but it wasn't all that great. But when I went to my master's degree, a different college, it was um, eye-opening. The I was one of like 50 flute majors. All of them were excellent. Most of them way better than me. You know, so you're just exposed to another level of playing than you even thought was possible. So going through a master's degree, like any degree, it's not so much the title of the degree, but it's that process that you go through when you're in college of learning and being around all different people and people that are much better than you and your teacher, your experience with a, with a teacher. And if you go to a master's degree, a different teacher. And also you have that time to mature more as a person. All of that I think is very beneficial. Also during my master's degree, that's when I got a taste of what playing in an orchestra even is. Um, I mean, I played in the school orchestra. I went to um, University of North Texas. So I played in that school orchestra. That was great. But I also played in my first regional orchestra. So my first professional orchestra. So there's just really no way to know what what an orchestra job entails, what that really is, what you what is needed of you as a flute player and as a musician in general until you start doing it. So having said that, the location of where, if you do a master's degree, the location of where that school is, is really important, I think, because like for instance, I went to University of North Texas, so Dallas general area. I didn't realize it at the time, but what ended up happening is I was able to then, like I mentioned, get into a regional orchestra that was there, Irving Symphony. <laughs> that was my first job. And there are a lot of other regional orchestras and just gigs happening, pickup orchestras, um, various jobs for a freelance musician to be had. And you start because you're there in that scene um, from the college scene, you're connected to people. And so from really from your master's degree, you start networking and being in a gigging scene. If you're doing a master's degree out in the middle of nowhere, I mean, to me, that's not the best idea if you're gonna be a freelancer, which you probably will be. <laughs> However, again, it just always depends. If there's like the perfect private lesson teacher for you out in the middle of nowhere college, that is a big deal. I mean, uh, the, a good teacher is really everything also, or something to very much be considered in your decision um, of where to go to school. But ideally it would be like a really good teacher that, work, that, um, you, that you gel with, combined with being in a location that has a freelancing scene. So at the beginning of this video, I said, yes, you need a master's degree. That was meaning like people like myself that went to Portland State. So it's out in Oregon. It was a good school. It had a, it had a solid music program, but it was not 
a great school. It was just, it was my hometown, that's where I was living, so I went there. So for people like myself in that situation, if you're going, if you have a bachelor's degree and it's from just like a general school with an okay music department and you don't really have a sense of the level of playing and you're also not even gonna know what the level is until you get out of there and go other places. Another way to say this is if you did not go to like Curtis, Peabody, Juilliard, you know, or the conservatories or whatever, or any of the big um, universities that have a very well-known music program where they are really training you for um, auditions, how to audition and orchestral playing. If you went to school there for your bachelor's, then yeah, you, you don't need a master's, you're trained already. And a lot of people do um, come right out of those kinds of schools, Curtis, Juilliard, Eastman and go right into an orchestra job because they've been through the training. But for most of us, it's still possible to achieve an orchestral career, but you're gonna need a master's. In other words, you're gonna need more training and at a different school than your bachelor's probably. Um, different meaning, like again, like I mentioned, get into a scene where there's a freelancing scene and regional orchestras and has a great uh, flute teacher. So like if you w did your ba bachelor's in like a very small town in like Kansas or something, and you wanna have an orchestra career, you need to get yourself to like New York City area or LA or Dallas, Houston, um, Cincinnati, Chicago, you know, somewhere where there's an actual scene happening, go to college there and then you're set to Freelance, either freelance out of there or and you're set to hear what the top level people that are um, getting into these orchestras, how they sound, how they practice, how they prepare for auditions. You know, you just need to be around the people that are winning the jobs and they're not gonna be in a tiny town that doesn't have an active scene. Along with the, I just wanna also add real quick here, the master's degree I keep mentioning. Also, this would be like a performer's certificate. That's another kind of equivalent. Um, so if you did your bachelor's somewhere and then you go on, uh, it's a good thing to have either a master's or a performance certificate. Again, because you've gone through more training. Also because it looks good on your resume when you are applying to um, take an audition for an orchestra. What the, it looks good in meaning that, not just the title, but when somebody's scanning through your resume to see if you're gonna make the, you know, the cut to be invited to audition for an orchestra, they look to see, you know, master's degree possibly or performance certificate will tell that person looking at your resume, oh, you're, you're on the right path towards orchestra, you know, you can actually play your instrument at the level that we're looking for. Because you'd be amazed at how many, mus you know, I use the word musician rough, uh, loosely, but think that they can go audition for e either a full-time orchestra or even a re any kind of professional orchestra, regional orchestra or something, and they think they're really, really great. Um, and they may have been in high school, first chair, you know, whatever, and they just really have no idea. They just have no idea. And on their resume, it would show nothing. It would show maybe at best they did a Bachelor of Music somewhere, um, but then did nothing after that. So what I'm trying to say is the person scanning your resume to see if you're going to be invited to the audition, if they see masters on there or performance certificate, that tells the person like, oh, they've, they've been through the training. And lastly, I would add that you do need that master's degree for adjunct college teaching, university teaching or community college teaching. You may think you're never gonna do that, but you probably will be uh, because you're probably gonna be a freelancer. Um, and then you need to have that master's degree. It's required to be considered to teach in any capacity at the university level or a college or even a community college level. Of course, the argument against going to get your master's degree would be the expense and going into debt. You know, those are important things to consider as well. So hopefully this is, helps a little bit in navigating um, what to decide about going to get a master's or not. I would say that's something to really talk about with your private lesson teacher to help um, guide you through that. And if anyone has any questions on this topic, whether or not to get a master's degree, to have an orchestral career, um, please drop that in the comments. I'd be more than happy to 
respond to those and clarify anything that I have said, maybe start a little bit of a dialogue on this topic would all be good. And please hit subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to continue putting out videos such as this one, talking about various topics of being a professional musician, a freelancer, playing in orchestras, how to take auditions, all, all these sorts of things. Thanks for watching and I will see you at the next video.